Greetings my dear friends. Praise the name of the Lord. Welcome back to another journey with Jesus. It is day 25. Yes, it is day, day 25 and we just praise and we just give God thanks for you for, 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 for joining us again on another journey with Jesus. Really hope that these devotionals will, will continue to be a, a blessing to you insightful inspiring and instructive as we go into our our devotional for today we continue to hammer on the, the the weekly overview about the fact that faith without work is is dead faith apart from works you know are dead and so we we, we have to give great attention to 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 how we live out our christian faith and we have been dealing with the whole matter of love and how, how, is, how is love demonstrated how is love made an action in our lives and today we want to look on the whole matter of you know love encourages love encourages what i'm going to take my gleanings today um from hebrew 10 hebrews 10 23 to 25 Hear, hear the word of the Lord. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another or stir up one another unto our love and good deeds. Not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another or encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching you know um i want to want to start off with asking us this question when when was the the last time someone really encouraged you when was the last time someone really encouraged you maybe it was a family member a friend maybe it was a pastor maybe it was a mentor your siblings your principal your boss your manager fellow colleague you know how how did that make you feel How did the encouragement cause you to feel? How did you view yourself after you were encouraged? You see, my dear friends, if you haven't been encouraged in a while, how greatly do you long for it? Encouragement can be very very powerful and immediately I'm reminded of Barnabas who was an encourager encouragement my dear friend is very powerful it has the ability to change emotions and trajectories it has the power to fill someone with courage and boldness to say yes to the plans and heart of God. Encouragement, my dear friends, is truly a gift we have been given for the edifying of each other. We are we, we are meant to encourage one another one another. The Bible makes it clear that as brothers and sisters in Christ, we are meant to both give So here, the writer in Hebrews, in Hebrews 10, let us, let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is 
the habit of some, but encouraging each other, and all the more as you see the day join nigh. Have you ever thought, my dear friends, about how you could change the day as a complete stranger just with a few words, just with a few kind words? Have you ever thought or imagined how your very presence can encourage someone along? Jesus, my dear friends, knew the power of encouragement. And so he loved to use the tool of encouragement to direct his disciples into the life God intended for them. My dear friend, Jesus spoke life into the people he encountered. Everywhere he went, the man spoke life into dead circumstances and dead situations and dead conditions and dead lives and, and people who were discouraged, people who were hopeless. People who were despondent and discouraged and just lost and destitute. People who just had no hope. Jesus met them and offered hope through words of kindness, words of compassion. Jesus encouraged the outcast, the downhearted, the needy, which is a perfect example of the power of encouragement. A, 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 a wonderful encouragement of an example of encouragement is found in St. Luke 19 with Zacchaeus. You know, that story in, 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 in Zacchaeus, um, Zacchaeus in St. In Luke 19. Jesus entered Jericho and of course was passing through Jericho and then he saw that there was a man, uh, you know, Name in the area named Zacchaeus, and of course we all know that he was a chief. He was a chief collector, tax collector, and he was very wealthy. He was very rich, but he too was seeking to see who Jesus was. And, and the Bible says, and as you know, the crowd came and Jesus was passing through Jericho. You know, Jesus came to the place and he looked up in a tree and he saw Zacchaeus. And he said to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, hurry up and come down. Because I'm going to stay at your house tonight or today. So, and Zacchaeus came down and received Jesus joyfully into his house. But of course, those around him weren't pleased. People began to murmur. People, people began to grumble. And, and, and people began to say how he has gone into um, to be guest to a man who is a sinner. Tax collectors were, were seen as very vile sinners. But 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 as Zacchaeus made you know you know accommodated Jesus. He said to Jesus, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will restore fourfold. And Jesus said to, to Zacchaeus, Today salvation has come to this house. You see, my dear friends, Jesus encouraged an outcast tax collector, changed the trajectory of his life. He simply told Zacchaeus that he wanted to spend time with him and followed through with it, you know, with commitment, went to him at the man house. And, it, and, and, and the entire town was blessed as a result. Matthew was the same thing with a tax collector. Zacchaeus got his income through, you know, we know, overtaxing people. You know, that's how Zacchaeus got his income by overtaxing his own people 
for for the benefit of, of Rome and himself. So he was cast out from society and he was hated. He was hated by those by those around him. Jesus, my dear friends, to the shock, dismay of others, encouraged Zacchaeus, spent time with him, and changed his life. You can live like Jesus today. Yeah, man, you can live like Jesus today. Who needs an in, some encouraging words from you? Who in your life needs some words of encouragement? Who needs to be encouraged by you simply wanting to spend time with them? My dear friends, there's, there's, you see, my dear friends, there's grace on your life to minister to the, to the hurting and lonely around you. There's grace to minister like Jesus. Walk in relationship with your Heavenly Father. Live with the knowledge that you are fully loved and love others through the power of encouragement. And you'll see what God will do in your life. Love encourages. As I close, here's my guided prayer for you today. As you pray, here's my challenge for you. Take some time to meditate on what the Bible says about encouragement. Yeah, man, the Bible is replete with encouragement. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11, Ephesians 4 29, Proverbs 12 25 talks about encouragement. Not only do I want you to take some time to meditate on what the Bible says about encouragement, but secondly, I want you to ask the Lord whom, whom he would have you encouraged today. Who in your life? Who around you? Would he have you to encourage today? Maybe it's a co-worker that needs, you know, that needs an encouragement. A, a co-worker who, you know, has been very down lately. A family member who's going through a hard time or even a stranger just needs some kind words of encouragement. The last thing I want you to do is to Ask God how He would have you encourage that person. Ask the Holy Spirit. It could be as simply as send, sending us a text message, making a phone call, or taking someone out for a meal, a lunch, dinner. Maybe it's a few kind words of encouragement or some financial assistance. Ask the Spirit to direct you and follow His lead. The Bible, my dear friends, makes it clear that the tongue wields incredible power. Because the Bible says in Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Choose to speak life in somebody's heart today. Choose to honor those around you instead of condemning them. Choose to see the grace God has placed you know on your life choose to see the grace god has has placed in people around you to see past the the, the facade and tough exterior that some people present and speak to their hearts my dear friend god intends for you to be both give a, a giver rather and a receiver of encouragement who will you speak life into today father i pray you will open the opportunity that my my dear friends who are watching today will be an encouragement to somebody look out for somebody today make the opportunity happen for them in christ's name amen please remember to share this devotional and of course if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share the link to someone and ensure that someone else is blessed by these devotional. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Have a day, my dear friends. Have a day filled with encouragement. Love, encouragement.
coaches.